What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this super cool money transition. So if I go back here and I push play, we're going to be creating something similar to this. Also guys, be sure to check out my Selfi store in the description of this video. I currently have two packs available for purchase. So if you guys are wanting to add transitions in a matter of seconds, click this one here, which is going to include 24K drag and drop transitions for Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, DaVinci Resolve, and more. This is also M1 compatible and no plugins or any special type of installation is required for this. We're gonna be creating just that. So the first thing you wanna do is head on over to Google. So I went on over to Google and typed up money. It doesn't have to be US currency. It can be really anything. Okay, I think this one can work. So I'm just gonna save this to my desktop. Just make sure you're gonna be doing this for client work that you actually have the photo licensed. Uh, if you're doing it for a personal project, that's fine. Um, but just wanna, you know, disclaimer. Uh, not a lawyer here, but just, you know, saving you some some headache down the line. So what you want to do is we're going to be using the British pound instead of the US dollar. So I'm going to press command I. Uh, once you've selected your PNG, make sure it's a PNG image or it has a transparent background. And then you're going to drag this into the timeline and I'm going to trim it down. You want to move the money in between the clips that you want to transition. So we're going to move this one right in the middle about here. So once you're happy with this, what you're going to do is go over to transform and you're just gonna make this smaller. So we're gonna make this about half of the size of the video frame. So I'm gonna zoom out of the frame here and go about 50%. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of start fanning these out so we can just kind of rotate these and we're gonna hold option and drag upwards. So now you have another one. Now, instead of rotating it like this and moving it, you can do that or you can move the anchor point, but that'll be a, just a little bit more work. So we're just gonna rotate this and find the easiest way of doing this, right? So right there, we're gonna hold option, drag upwards. So now there's a third copy. We're gonna drag this one down, use this little blue um, kind of circle or wheel. Okay, and that looks good. We're gonna do about six bills or just enough to cover the top and bottom. So from here, we're gonna drag this one down, get a little bit more dramatic on this one. Hold option, drag upwards. So what we're doing here is we're just covering the whole left side of this clip. So that's what you want. You wanna make sure that it's completely covered. We'll do one more here. So I'm gonna hold option and I'm gonna drag that one above and I'm gonna move this one down and also rotate this. Cool, all right, so once you're happy with your bills, you're gonna hit done and you're gonna select all of the clips of the money and then you're gonna right click on that and you're gonna hit new compounds clip to group them. I'm gonna name this left side and hit okay. So now this acts as one single clip. Now I'm gonna scale this up actually because we wanna fill up the frame. So we're gonna go over to transform and that looks good. And another thing I wanna point out though, if I go down is you wanna make sure that this is not being cut off whatsoever because if you have it cropped, I suppose, to just this area, it's not going to work as a seamless transition. So just letting you know that, but right now it looks good. I know it looks like it's cut off, but it's actually not. So now what we're gonna do from here is make sure that this side is covered. So just drag that up, make it as big as you can, right? Something like this. And we're gonna move this anchor point over to the corner over here. Just move it back and then move the Y axis around here. And then you can move it back and you, now you can go over to the rotation. So you can do something like this. I think this looks personally a lot better. So we're gonna just do that. So you only have to do this once. So from here at the very beginning of the clip, click on your empty area here to bring up the tools under transform. And you're gonna hit the plus icon to add a frame. And we're going to start this off out of the screen. So we're gonna go over to the rotation tool here we go, rotation, and we're gonna drag this up all the way out of the frame. And then we're gonna go about here, right? This is where it's gonna have to cover the screen. So we're just gonna type under rotation, type in zero and press enter. So now when we go back and I push play, it's gonna do something just like this, super cool. So once it's about, if I move the playhead in the middle, we're gonna go one frame over to the right and we're gonna add a keyframe 
And then we're gonna go all the way to the end, go one frame to the left, go back to the rotation tool and just move this back up like this. And then click done. So if I push play, it'll look just like this. Now, if you think this is too quick because there's only one keyframe, right click and go to show video animation and extend this outwards. So it'll look a little bit like this. Perfect, that looks good. So once we're here, we're going to just hold option and drag upwards. All right, so once you made your copy, we're going to have to reset the transform and everything here. So we're just gonna go back to transform and we can scale this up again. But we're gonna have to flip this image. Uh, if you do flip it, however, just letting you guys know, it's gonna flip the image, so it might, the lettering might be backwards. Uh, that's the quickest way that you can do it if you don't wanna spend extra time readjusting the fanning from, instead of it going from left to the right side, right? It's gonna be the opposite. So it'll look something like this. So if I go over to negative under X, scale X, and I type in negative 135.24, it'll look like this. But of course, you don't want to flip the image. Um, ideally, it'd look better if it was going the right way, you know, left to right. Um, but if you want to do it quick, you can do it this way and just reposition this so it's kind of around the same scale. Then you're just going to readjust this. So about here. Go to about the middle, which is where it's going to overlap, right? So you just want to do something like this. It doesn't have to be 100% perfect, but I think right here looks good. And perfect. So now we're going to have to move the anchor point again over on this side. So just go over to the anchor and move this so it's right over here. And for the y-axis, about here. And then you just want to move this back into place. So something about here. Okay, so now when we go to rotate this, it should look something like this. Perfect. So I'm going to reset that and I'm going to go over to the beginning and I'm going to add a keyframe now. So we're going to hit plus to add a keyframe. We're going to re-enable this clip here. So select the bottom one, go to show video animation and do the same thing for the top clip. And we're going to move that so it matches exactly here. So from here, um, before we do that, we're going to move it at the beginning and you're going to go over to the rotation and you're going to move this up out of the screen. So something like this and you're going to go about here and you're going to type in zero and press enter. So now they'll both come in like this. And then for this frame here, you're just going to add a keyframe. And then from there at the very end, about a frame to the left, you're going to then move this back up where it was in the beginning like that. And then you click done again. You're going to have to, if you don't want the image flipped, you can just, readjust the bills um you know the right way or along like this okay if i push play it'll look just like that super clean and of course you could always add you know a blur now this is one way of doing it of course if you want to do it my way with the pack it'll save you all of this time in a matter of seconds and if you guys don't believe me I will show you. So if you guys go in the description and you check out the pack, there's 20 different transitions. It's a, a variety of pack and you import the fanning hundreds, which is this one. Uh, this is only one of, of the 20. So in the Trini transitions, you're going to have all of these uh, really cool transitions, right? Um, for different types of scenes and themes that you have going on. So the one we're going to be using is this one here, the fanning hundreds. And the way that one works is you just simply, if I delete these, you go in between two clips that you want to transition. Right here, there's money. So it might make sense to add a money shot or a money transition. So you just click and drag your transition. You place it where it's covering the most of the frame and you're going to let go and you're done. Now you just push play. And it's just like that, that easy. So this is what I mean by having the bills going this way, right? You want it to be read the right way. Um, but you can also do it with British pounds too. Pretty cool. Let me know what you guys think of this video. And if you want to, uh, you know, have another video idea like this, comment down below. I want to know what you, <laughs> I want to know what you guys are thinking in terms of uh, effects and stuff like that. But uh, until then, I'll catch you on my next video. Peace out.